What's up, Light Bright Nation? Hey, what's going on, Light Bright Nation? Welcome to Trail Hero 2020. We are at Sand Hollow State Park. We are about to run the Light Bright Trail Ride today on Milt's Mile, but it's special because today we are running it in the all new and improved Step Challenge. remember about a week or so ago we dropped off the stepchild with Dan from Next Venture Motorsports because remember we said our next goal for the stepchild was to put her on a diet because she's <laughs> more than a little bit hefty 7,000 pounds is a lot of weight for is that a Jeep. how much it was it was wow with the spare tire us in it and all of our gear 7,000 pounds so we got rid of the spare tire already you guys have probably noticed that on multiple previous wheeling videos but we wanted to take it a step further and that's where he came into play we added a lot of aluminum and took away a lot of steel. Yes, we did. And it was a lot of fun to get them all to uh, play together. The rock crawler kit, the Hemi, the Dana 80 in the back, and factory-ish fitting uh, JL skids. <laughs> Not to mention that our skids were completely obliterated by this point. The same skids we've always run, they were like tinfoil. He sent us the photo, maybe I'll insert it right here, of what they looked like. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, the factory gas tank skid that had never been off. I don't think it was ever going to come off. <laughs> they had to, I'll show another photo right here. They literally had to weld a nut onto one of the bolts in order to get it off. Two it was or three, yeah. That mangled. So <laughs> high five to you for, uh, for putting up with that. But dude, the final result looks freaking amazing and we're wheeling it for the first time today. That's just freaking rad, as Brittany would say. <laughs> Good job. Boom.
so one of the first things I wanted him to do was get rid of the steel heavy bumpers because they are quite heavy and steel is super strong and we love it. We've loved our bumpers, but going on a diet, one of the biggest things you can do is go to aluminum bumpers and there's no like lack of protection here. These things are perfectly sturdy. There's even like reinforcements on the inside. He went above and beyond and we did some dimple dyes, not we, Dan with Next Venture Motorsports did some dimple <laughs> dies here. This is for some grip, so if you're standing up right here on the bumper, your shoe actually has something to grip, you're not gonna slip off because aluminum can so get kind of. if you kinda, have a roof rack or anything Yeah, like anything that. you're messing with. He did this super sick cut out here with the Next Venture Motorsports uh, with the logo with the eagle in the background. With the I, I didn't know about any stars. of this. These are like little cool things that he did. And then we have the Baja Designs S2 Pros. These are gonna double as our backup lights. And they're gonna double as our backup lights because, well, we don't have factory tail lights anymore. So we're just gonna roll on the side. We're gonna roll on our side over here. I'll roll it on my side and then we'll like go up it. What? What? <laughs> Oh, my God. 
out here at San Hollow. I think it's been about five tail lights now that we've either pieced back together or just had to replace completely. So now we went with flush mounted tail lights. This is the rectangular. It's basically, it's just a trailer light. It's an LED trailer light. Now these don't have built-in backup lamps, which is why we put them in the bumper. Now he's also gonna offer round. You can do single round, double round, rectangular. And he's also looking at getting a rectangular tail light that has a backup light, but we haven't found that cool option yet that like that just kind of fits the body and looks good. So this is completely flush mounted. This is steel for now. We might go to aluminum because everything else is aluminum, but these weigh nearly nothing. It sits completely flush. There's nothing to hit now. We can come off a rock wall, come by it, hit the quarter, hit the tail light, hit a tree. It's not going to matter now. So, and this obviously isn't finished because it's spare metal. We're not going to leave it just like this. All right, you guys, so we're back at the three monkeys, except this time it is washed out again. So it is a significantly steeper wall than it was the last time we did it, which should make it a lot more exciting. That made my butt pucker. Go give this to that guy that almost flipped. Oh my god, no! <laughs>
<laughs> he did it great. Yeah. It's amazing. only my second time in seven tries making that and it's a hundred percent of the time with you guys <laughs> my good luck charm Something else that we did with the step child that wasn't so much to lose weight but was to add a lot of protection was the quarter armor. Now this is the first piece of body armor we've ever put on the step child and we're super stoked about it. Not only is it super lightweight and it's aluminum, it also goes really well with the recessed tail lights. Plus it's not easy to do. So Jeep with the JL they added a lot of kind of compound curves to the rig which they've never done with Wranglers before so it takes a lot of precision a lot of bending and it's a really technical part to make but Dan with Next Venture Motorsports managed to make it happen now obviously this is unfinished but I think what we're gonna do is probably put our vinyl wrap back over it so it'll sort of be like a a sleeper armor so to speak I don't know if that's the right way to say that but I want it to be a little more hidden now as far as the bumpers go we may leave those aluminum because they seem to go really well with not just the long arms, but also the Bilstein shocks. And of course, they go really well with the new skids. Now the biggest piece of real estate when it came to switching out steel for aluminum and saving weight on the stepchild was of course the skid. So I'd like to introduce you to our all new, super shiny, not beat up to crap aluminum skid plates. Now what's super rad with these is Dan with Next Venture Motorsports made sure that it matched not just our Hemi, but our long arm kit. So as far as the Hemi goes, it now bolts up perfectly to the new engine motor mounts. And of course, the oil drain hole right there was shifted so it is actually functional for us, which our old one was not. There's nothing on the market that will actually work, work with, with the, the hemi, hemi swap the hemi swap and until now yeah so in addition to that the long arm kit has no interferences anymore either which our old skid plates really did we had to do a lot of trimming and we had so much articulation that we had a lot of interference 
with this new skid system, zilch, none of that. And Dan with Next Vector Motorsports is also making sure to set up new skid systems for not just the Hemi swap, but all of the engines that Jeep now offers for the Jeep Wrangler. So you'll be able to see stuff like a new skid system for the new diesel very, very soon as well. Now, as far as ours goes, in particular, we're going one extra step and we're looking to add UHMW to the bottom of these skid plates. Now that's the same stuff that we have underneath our Razor and underneath our Ultra 4 car. It stands for Ultra High Molecular Weight. And it's basically a, a plastic comp, what, how, how do it's I? Like a, it's like a cutting board. It comes in different thicknesses and it's self lubricating. So it helps you just slide over things. Exactly, so it, it's essentially gonna make it a lot easier to bump, slide, not catch on anything and make it over. But it'll also help protect not just the skid plates, which should be able to handle one heck of a beating, but it'll help to absorb those impacts. So it's not as brutal inside the rig itself. Oh, one last thing is that this completely replaced the gas tank skid. Yep. So the factory gas tank skid is gone and the new skid is there. He also made a heat shield for the exhaust for the Hemi because it runs so close to the gas tank. Yeah, there you go. So there's a heat shield right there that he also made to protect the gas tank from the exhaust from the Hemi. Exactly. Which So he kind of thought of everything, which is super rad. And uh, yeah, we're super excited. Dude, we, we shaved off hundreds of pounds, essentially, with all of this. And it'll be a little bit more once we replace the front bumper, which is coming very soon as well. All right, Kevin, how are you getting back in? Yeah, yeah, that's why you didn't, no! Oh my God, please be careful, don't fall. Wait, you want me to do it the other way? I, that was actually pretty impressive. You can do it whatever way you want. Are you gonna, okay. All right, the, the, the safer way. The, the not kill yourself way. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, proud of you, boo. hundreds of peoples and trailers and stuff here and now it's just yes, all sir. of our crap and now it's just all of our crap which we have to now load up in the trailer and take to Johnson Valley where we're gonna go pre-run for the very first time in the ultra four car now the stepchild on the other hand is actually going back to next venture motorsports to get the final pieces of the puzzle like the UHMW and a new aluminum front bumper added to it so again the next time you see it she'll look totally different which is gonna be super awesome yeah trail hero was a blast we had a great time I got to romp around in this people got to look at me going who is that jerk off just flying through the <laughs> through the dunes and we were doing I was doing trails in like 15 minutes a whole trail just front to back like just start to finish front to back whatever in 10 15 minutes just it done. Was, it's, it's insane dude the stepchild is capable you all know that you've seen what we've done not, with it not no this not. <laughs> is on a whole nother universe and it is absolutely mind-blowing but we're super stoked to actually go pre-run not just with rock crawler but with savvy off-road in johnson valley it's gonna be fantastic and of course i'm super excited that my mom got to visit me and come wheeling and kevin got to scare the sh where'd he go he's over there and kevin got the crap out of me <laughs> yes she did yeah. he couldn't do normal yeah there was a lot of beeping there's a lot of beeping in this video oh is there oh, her beep beep beep, 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 beep. <laughs> you mother beep beep beep, 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 beep. <laughs> yeah. oh, her mom speaks morris code <laughs> <laughs> you say though i met so many great light bright nation family and y'all are freaking amazing and i know from my family and their family, we Those love you guys. Family. We are your family. Yeah. <laughs> Best people ever, and from the heart, I really thank you guys for supporting Brittany and Kevin. You we guys, love you. you all did a you really, rock. really fan freaking tastic. Not just Light Bright Nation, but also our E3 Off Road family as well. You did a really good job representing the Off Road community to my mom. She's really this is the I first time she's wheeled or done anything quite like this. But so. guys, as always. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Remember, you find all your Lightbright Nation merch at lightbrightstudios.com, all your Lightbright Nation decals at pixeldecals.com. We love you so much. We will see you next time. Now I'm just kidding.
right? That's right. That's super cool. Uh,